Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can split a data table in smaller chunks or in smaller data tables. Now, in case you didn't find out because I have shared on LinkedIn and Facebook, I have just launched my first component which is called Data Table Extensions. Now, what's so special about these data table extensions is I want to make this a single package for a bunch of data table operations. And currently, the only thing which is implemented at the moment of this recording is the data table split. So we can split the data table in smaller chunks. Now, also the code is publicly available here. So if you go here on this link, you can find the documentation and the code is available here. So you can contribute to this by two things. By can either adding an operation because this code is open source or by submitting a new request and someone will fix this. So in order to do this, let's say you want to add an operation for serialization or something around data table, you can click here. You need to log in to GitHub. You need to make an account for here. I'm gonna press sign in and then it will reach here. So you're gonna write the title and you're gonna leave the comment and I'm gonna take care of that. And if you want to add yourself an operation that is not existing here, you can press fork and this will duplicate this repository to your account and then using a pull request, you can submit here. So I'm gonna take care of the publishing. So without further ado, I'm gonna go back to the UiPath Studio. So what I have here, it's a project where I have a missing activity because I have removed this dependency. So I'm gonna press click and manage and I want to install this. Now I can go directly to the marketplace and write data table. And is this extension automation pill data table activities. I'm gonna press install. So you can see that the currently the farm operation are split. And if you go here on the project URL, I'm gonna click here. You will go here to the code page where you can browse yourself the code and check the documentation. So I'm gonna press save. And now let's have a look how we can split a data table in smaller chunks. So what I have here, it's a big data table. I think it has 1000 or something Excels. Let's have a look. I'm gonna open here. So I have an Excel with almost 10K of records. So if you want to split this data table in tables that looks the same, so the structure is the same, but only by row number will be considered, you're gonna do like that. So first you need to read to an existing data table. In this case, it's here. And then in the for each, you can call a split. Now for each will be called for each chunk. So this split, it returns a split operation. Now by default, you need to change this type argument from object to a split operation. How you can do that? Well, you go here, browse for type and you choose split operation. Okay, so is this one from data table extension. And then this one, it will return a split operation. Now the reason this is a split operation and not a data table itself is because it contains some information about the actual split. For instance, if you go here in the split because the variable is named like here, I'm gonna have the actual data table. This is the result data table and the position which is starting index. Now this is a position that it will be from zero to the amount of split that has been done. So this is easily used if you want to split in smaller chunks. If you have, for instance, this Excel. So I'm gonna just scroll here. And let's say I'm gonna split from here. This one, it will be the row zero. I'm gonna split, let's say I would like to create with rows, maximum 10. This one will be 10 and the other one will be uh, 10. So uh, these are the split data table that will result. So that's the reason there is this split operation. Now the actual data table you can have here. So what I'm going to do, I will go and write, let's say I'm going to write a CSV. So the path of the operation, I want to use the index. I'm going to create another variable, let's say Y. And here to the file path, I'm going to say string format. And let's say split. I'm going to use dash zero and CSV. And I'm going to pass the argument Y. And I'm going to write from, this will be the split dot data table. And that's all. And it will include the headers. So before to run the project, I'm going to tell you how you're going to use. So in this method, I'm going to call split. Now there are two operations. So I'm going to press control shift space to activate IntelliSense. And you can see the documentation. It says split a data table equally by a row number. 
in number of batches. Of course, if you have, let's say, a data table with 11 rows and you plan to split by 10, so like here, we're gonna have the first data table with 10 and the last one with the remaining row. So in this case, it's only one. So I'm gonna split by 100. And the next operator is, is taking skip as an index. So we can say, I'm gonna start from the position zero and I would like to take bunch of 100 rows. So you can easily read this from the documentation. Great, so now let's give a run and see what this robot does. So I'm gonna hit press. Okay, so we can see that a split upper occurred uh, with 100 items. I'm gonna hit refresh. And we have the split zero, the split nine, and the split four. So I'm gonna take the last one. I'm expecting to have uh, 100 rows here. So let's uh, count. And there are 100, and the last one is the column names because we have chosen to add the column names. Great, so that was for today. By the way, the link of this documentation is here in this webpage. So if you're gonna open here in the new page, you're gonna find the same documentation here. Well, now let me know in the comments what's the biggest operation and the most painful that you want to implement for data tables, but you couldn't find an easy way. Maybe that will be the next operation that it will be implemented in this extension. I'm Daniel and I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Bye.